Jay Yeshu. I am Christo from the second group. We have six members in our group, four brothers and two candidates. And as this last report, this workshop was a marvelous experience for me because for me it is the first time to attend a workshop. I did not attend a workshop. It is the first time to hear the word workshop uh, like, um, what you can say, as a retreat. And for me, I have got many, many uh, inspiration and many, many changes from this workshop. And uh, I have to take many, many decisions, especially in my vocation life. And as we know that this class is taken by the well-known and reputed preacher, Brother Thomas Paul. I especially congratulate him because when I saw him, um, I have understood that he is very vigorous and zealous in his ministry of preaching. And um, he is the, how you can say, instrument of um, Holy Spirit. And 29th, we have, on 29th, we have started our um, workshop program. At the same date, it was the feast of the gathering of Siena. And Brother has told us about the gathering of Siena and, his, and her biography. And as we start the class, Brother has shown us the two candles, the red candles and red candle and the white one. He said, he said that the red candle itself is Christ, the Messiah. He is the light of the world and the white candle. Uh, we, uh, we are the persons who, are, who have to follow him. And we should receive the light from the, what we can say, basic light, the Messiah. And we should be the other, another light to others. And um, basically, I felt that this class was oriented on the subject of the Holy, of Holy Spirit and the visions of Holy Spirit. It is also the first time for me to have visions and uh, the pray and also the prayer session, the workshop. Uh, br brother has divided, uh, uh, divided us into different groups and when we were in different groups, Brother said that we have to pray, we have to pray over our group members and during the time of the prayer, we will get visions. When Brother was saying that things, um, I was not that much believing in that because I did, uh, I did never get any visions. Uh, and um, even, even that also, I believed that. And when I was praying over the first person, I got something. I did not uh, believe that it is the work of the Holy Spirit or the vision of the Holy Spirit. And after I understood that, I got the vision. And as Brother said that, I also felt the vision of the Holy Spirit and through this um, workshop brother, uh, brother has sold many many Bible words especially about the Holy Spirit Luke chapter 12, 12 for the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say and Romans chapter 5 verse 5 hope does not disappoint us because God's love has been poured in, into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us and most of, as I said, the most of the uh, word of, words of God were about the Holy Spirit. And in today's, today's class, or today's class, I did not remember that. Brother said that, the, uh, why the incarnation of Jesus has happened in this, earth, in this earth. It is to make us as gods. Um, at the time, I was laughing. It is to make us as gods. He himself is a God. Why should we be the God? And uh, in in what we can say in in Sunday classes, I have heard that we have one Lord and Father, the Son, Son and the Holy Spirit. And and after I thought that in the worship, why should be uh, why should we become the uh, gods after these three persons? <laughs> it was a um, what we can say confusion for me and uh, in today's class uh, we have studied that the seven mysteries in the life of Jesus 
the mystery of incarnation the birth of jesus the mystery of baptism of jesus the mystery of the public proclamation the mystery of passion and death the mystery of resurrection the mystery of ascension the mystery of pentecost and also the liturgy christ manifests he makes presence he communicates and also in today's uh, class brother has said that the explanation of st john's gospel the healing of a man who had been ill for 38 years and the woman who caught in adultery we can see that through that uh, parables um, we can see that the mercy of jesus in second parable the woman who caught in adultery in the law the, the law of moses it was saying that if anyone caught in adultery it should be um, stoned to death but uh, at the time they were accusing of her jesus was doodling on the ground he was writing something as well as said that he was able to make a law uh, i believe that he was able to make a law it was correct he made that law um, if anyone did not sin can throw her at first it was um, it was the first time to hear that word anyone sin and also i thought that we all have we all are sinners in our lives we have made many many mistakes then also we are misunderstanding our brothers and sisters and uh, as jesus said that if anyone did not sin can throw a stone at, at her at first <laughs> i was thinking i was re- uh, recollecting that now how many times i have misunderstood my brothers i how many times i have scolded my brothers without without a um, correct reason and that time also i think that at that time i have done many many mistakes or many many sins and the second the healing of a man who had been ill for 38 years as per said that he was ill for 38 years it was a long time uh, we can say the half of his life he was in nearby that pool pool of bethsaida but even though he believed that one day the savior the jesus christ will come or at any cost he will get he will be healed so that by us his belief he was healed and we should also that believe that whenever we are um, disappointed we are not uh, having confusion in our life we should be have this thought one day or one hour he will come to us and he will possess us as his son and as last the transubstantiation transubstantiation as we offer as we participate in the mass this is the word of uh, for me at first transubstantiation means the body and blood of uh, christ sorry the wine and bread of bread the normal uh, bread it is the matters and when the blessing blessing by the priest had happened then it will become the body and bread of christ and at last my experience of this worship um as i said that it is first time for me to attend a worship um and also i have understood my vocation life uh, whenever we uh, brother had divided us to different groups whenever i have not done for prayer they have said that you have many many difficulties in your vocation life then i understood that my vocation is having a gorgi note gorgi note means sorry for saying this in malayalam ura kudukku nammal malayalathil parayum adu pole aanu enikku idu feel cheyidu eppozhum many times i will be thinking that um, i uh, many many temptations and inclination are coming to my vocation life sometimes i am falling in my vocation by itself and when most of the times i have taken that courage to go back at that time every time at any cost i i think i believe it now jesus has saved me and it is uh, the varsho it was it is the basic point milestone of me to change to bring many changes into my vocation life um 
it was a marvelous splendid uh, and great uh, workshop for me thank you